because luxury is a kind of some kind of products and also some kind of services but a kind of this is a kind of there is a kind of rel relativity uh, for this one okay this is a kind of relative feature uh, of goods and services okay what is relativity probably even water might be a kind of luxury for you okay i'm sure that most of us will say that okay water is not a kind of luxury but probably yes because uh, i can give you one example there okay this company is uh, the brand name is bling okay in usa and uh, in from tennessee and this water is around one small bottle is cost approximately 90 dollars okay and this is served in many different restaurants in USA and also in other countries, okay? What is here different? Probably, yes, they are coming with this, some kind of different purification stages. So they are claiming that this is the best uh, water quality. And also, of course, if you look at the uh, bottle, you'll be able to see that even the, uh, there are some kind of uh, sparkling, uh, there might be some kind of uh, uh, diamond looking kind of stones embedded on the bottle so that's why it looks more attractive right so that's why even this water might be a kind of luxury for us because probably we will not be able to afford uh, to buy this uh, bottled water right so however also what i can say is uh, the uh, interest in the luxury is through the years is has been increasing and almost every year uh, the luxury uh, sales has been increasing positively Okay, and if I just give you kind of uh, some kind of uh, references, probably I will be able to say that uh, 10 years ago, uh, the, com the, the total uh, value of the market was uh, one, uh, almost only once of 10. Okay, so right now, uh, what the luxury industry is. Okay, and that's why what I can say is also still there is no common definition of luxury uh, in in the literature okay there are more than 200 definitions about what luxury is okay so that's why uh, still people are not sure okay and even what i'm asking to you okay what luxury is i'm sure that m many people will come up with different kind of answers okay and so that's why uh, what's what's that's why we can say that this kind of still ambiguity is going on and then to be able to clarify this uh, ambiguity of luxury, what we need to do is probably first we need to talk about the categorizations of luxury. Okay, so if you just look at the characteristics of luxury products and services, there are some kind of common points. Okay, so what are these? Probably we will be able to say that is price is the first, the quality is the second, the, the third one is aesthetics, and the fourth one is rarity and extraordinaries, and the sixth one is symbolism. Okay. So what are these? Probably, yes, I'm sure that you'll be able to talk about that uh, uh, price is a kind of, yes, I can give the, uh, whenever if something is expensive, of course, we can think that this is a kind of uh, luxury and also any kind of product luxuries then should be a kind of expensive, is for sure. And however, still, uh, it doesn't need to be a kind of very, very expensive products uh, to be called as kind of luxury because I'm sure that uh, maybe some of for you especially in some kind of countries even going to Starbucks and to get a kind of coffee there might be kind of luxuries for some of you okay because in some countries the price of the one cup of coffee is almost double of the other uh, coffee shops okay so that's why uh, that's why uh, the price is one of the important characteristics of the uh, luxury products and the second one is about quality. Okay, quality is probably, you'll be able to see that is quality is related with the kind of price because all, most of us are thinking that if something is about expensive, then always we are thinking that the price and the quality should be also high. Okay, and, and also, but especially, uh, especially, I don't know, uh, depending on some kind of industries, uh, what we can say is if there's a kind of, some kind of wristwatch, okay, if the handicraft uh, will be, not kind of industrialized way, but if kind of uh, handcraft is needed for a kind of watch, then probably it might need it more than one year to complete the watch, okay, so that's why probably we can say that uh, this watch has a kind of higher quality, okay, because each uh, technician worked on the one, uh, one by one, and then it took so long time, okay, we can think about this one, okay, 
And what about aesthetics? Aesthetics is probably is related with about design, right? So that's why probably also what we think is most of the luxury products are have a kind of different designs, okay? And then even uh, the luxury cars might be a kind of looking better than the others, okay? And also if you would like to talk about the fine arts, okay, a kind of painting, also we'll be able to see that this painting is a kind of related with the aesthetics because this is satisfying the taste of the luxury consumers, right? So, and then what about rarity? Being rare, what is this? Probably if something is not enough, if this is some kind, somehow a kind of in limited editions, then people will like to see it as a kind of luxury product, okay? They would like to buy it, okay? Uh, because uh, people always would like, would like to have a kind of some uh, exclusive, okay? Because when the others do not have the same product, then they feel themselves as kind of more exclusive than the others. So that's why whenever the companies come up with the uh, limited editions, of course, it attracts the customers and uh, to demand, okay? So what about extraordinariness? Okay, so this is about probably creating some kind of unusual items. Okay, so because the products or services should be different than the others. Okay, so it should be extraordinary. Okay, so that's why probably we should be we we, we, will, we should be able to differentiate our products more than the others because our products are not like the regular products. Okay, we call we are a kind of uh, luxury products. Okay, and what about the sixth one? Sixth uh, characteristics is a kind of symbolism. Symbolism very interesting because uh, I don't know whether there is any, kind of, any other kind of uh, industry, but luxury industry is somehow giving the, some people at least, uh, some people give a kind of priority for symbolism rather than the quality, okay? Still, you know that maybe the quality is not that high, but still pay, willing to buy and willing to pay higher amounts because this product gives a kind of symbolism, okay? It gives a kind of image for the people wearing it or using it, okay? So that's why this is the kind of, uh, this, uh, what the six characteristics of luxury uh, gives us. And what about if we just continue about the relativity of luxury concept, relativity of luxury concept, yes, probably we will be able to see that the, uh, yes, our understanding of luxury will be changing in accordance with the some five or six different relativity concepts. Okay, so what is this? So probably the first one I can say that is regional. Okay, the second one is temporal relativity and the third one is economic relativity and the cultural relativity and situational relativity and also we can add the last one as a kind of technological relativity as well. Okay, so if you just if I find out, uh, if uh, just to give some kind of simple uh, examples, probably it will be better for you to understand uh, the relativity concept in the region. Okay, so I'm sure that if I ask you that, okay, what do you think that uh, this house, uh, it looks luxurious, okay, is a kind of luxury product or not, okay, but maybe most of us will say that no, this is a kind of very rural uh, or maybe uh, simple a kind of uh, architect architecture uh, uh, kind of one story one story house okay however probably if you compare with the second one probably the second picture was taken from south africa okay so probably you'll be able to see these kind of uh, buildings okay and probably you'll be able to see the same similar uh, communities in south korea as well okay so probably if you look and if you ask the same question uh, to the people living there, and then if you think that, okay, what do you think that the first picture, first house is kind of what do you think? And these people might think that, oh, this is a luxurious house as well, might be, right? Because everyone has a kind of different type of understanding and interpretation, okay? So what about temporal relativity? This is related with the time. So the, our understanding of luxury will be changing in accordance with the course of time. Okay, so probably if I ask you that uh, washing machines, all we have, and then, however, if I ask you that, okay, what do you think, uh, washing, having, owning as a kind of washing machine at home is a kind of luxurious for you? And then, yes, most of you will say that, no, definitely not. 
Okay, however, uh, if you just compare it uh, with the past, in 1930s, the owning a kind of uh, washing machine has a kind of very luxurious act, okay? So that's why even right now, uh, if you just look at the other uh, countries right now, even right now in uh, 2020, still for some people owning a washing machine at home is a kind of luxurious. Okay, so that's why this is a kind of, this concept is changing according to the people and depending on their own conditions and depending on the time, okay? What about economic productivity? You see, we are talking about camera here and then both cameras are the same purpose, same function they have, okay? And the first one is 100 euro and the second one is 25,000 25, euro, okay? You see, probably, probably uh, it will be kind of, for most of us, we'll say that the first one is kind of not luxurious product, okay, just 100 euro, we can say. And for most of us, we will say that 25,000 euro, really? No, no way. I cannot buy this one, okay? This is very expensive. This is a kind of very uh, luxurious product, okay? However, also I'm sure that there is a kind of some people, when I said, okay, this uh, camera is a kind of, this cost uh, $25,000 uh, euros, and then they will say, okay, good, uh, let's do it. Good deal, and then I need to buy, it, okay? So that means that probably, depending on your financial situation, the answer will be different as well. So, what about the next one? Next one is about cultural relativity, okay? So, what about, yes, champagne is always known as a kind of drink of luxury, right? So, always, uh, yes, uh, always uh, in the high elite uh, places, the drink is people prefer or to celebrate something always about champagne, okay? But champagne also is different kind of pricey categories, categorizations as well. So if you just look at this example, this crook, this bottle cost 1,500 euro, okay? One bottle of champagne cost 1,500 euro, okay? I'm sure that this is a kind of very luxurious product for most of the people, okay? But if I give it to uh, one person uh, uh, in Muslim country, probably even they do not know the importance of the or value of the uh, product and they can just throw it away as well, okay? Because they do not have a kind of meaning for that because they are forbidden to drink alcoholic drink might be as well, okay? So that's why this is depending on what type of culture you have, okay? What about situational relativity? What is situational relativity? So that means that I'm sure that sometimes a camel is more preferable than a kind of Lamborghini, okay? So that means that if you look at that, probably yes, I'm sure that all of us would like to drive such a kind of car, okay? But in some kind of situations, when you are just kind of uh, dessert, okay? So probably you will have to even would like to exchange with one camel as well, because this sports car doesn't make any function in this kind of situation, okay? So that's why uh, our understanding of uh, luxury will be changing in accordance with the, our situation, okay? So what about now we can say is probably from here what we have uh, found out is uh, understanding of luxury is always evolving, okay, changing, okay? So that's why uh, in terms of we need to take into consideration is probably we need to think about the relativity concept, okay? And also we need to think about the perceptions of the people Okay, and also we need to think about the emotions as well. Okay, so when we combine all these three, then we'll be able to say that, okay, whether this product is kind of luxurious for you or not, okay? So everyone might have a kind of different answer for the same product as well, okay? So what about, uh, but of course this is another problem is, even the concept of luxury is a kind of uh, very, uh, difficult to interpret because everyone has a kind of different type of understanding level, okay, of luxury, but still even the businesses are increasing the confusion as well. Why? Because all, probably, I don't know whether you remember, but when you look around and when you go to a supermarket or these kind of places, like shopping malls, and then you'll be able to see that there are many products that they are claimed to be luxurious, okay? And then, and then, uh, probably even non-luxury brands use the concept of luxury in naming their own products as well, might be, okay? 
So that's why, because the businesses would like to make this kind of perception, they would like to give the perception to the people, our product kind of luxury. So that's why probably the, the demand will be increased by the consumers. And also the businesses will be able to increase the profits because they are claiming that we are luxuries. Okay, so probably now if you just look at some kind of real time examples, real life examples, now I'm sure that you'll be able to better understand it. Yes, you see, there are some kind of, there are some kind of uh, verbs the businesses are using to make the, uh, 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 to be able to claim that we are a kind of high level okay or luxury product but what they do is they are using the word of premium okay and also they are using kind of premium deluxe okay ultra premium grand exclusive okay opulux and it might be hyper luxury as well okay so that means that all companies are using these kind of strategies because they are increasing the their perceptions of the consumers and also they will be able to uh, they will be able to help them to pay more uh, for the same product, okay? So that's why everyone understands the term luxury, but almost no one agrees on the explicit descriptions of the implications of the luxury, right? So that's why, yes, for example, this one, even the shell, this is the kind of uh, motor oil, and then they are claiming that this is a kind of premium product. And yes, this is another second example. So probably you'll be able to see that this is from Korea. Okay, so this is a kind of uh, premium products but Myeongin, okay, company. And you'll be able to see that probably these gift uh, sets are quite expensive, okay, and they might be considered as a kind of luxury and people are giving a kind of uh, Chusek holidays or these kind of things, okay, so during that time. So that's why people are paying higher uh, than usual. And another one, premium products, beer, okay? This is premium beer, and then people are paying more because this is a kind of premium beer. This is a kind of luxury product, okay? And also, even you see, this is an, another example in Korea, uh, Lotte Premium Food Market, okay? So, luxury food, okay? So, that means that all the food they are selling there, pricey, and the quality will be higher, okay? So, that's why they are considering that all what we have here, what we are selling is a kind of luxury products okay and also another thing even you see this is a kind of aromax premium shoe polish okay even shoe polish the company considering themselves as a kind of luxury product or premium product okay so these are the things that probably what i'm trying to explain to you that is uh, the uh, definition is so uh, confused way uh, because uh, our understanding of luxury might be different than this one but the companies are claiming that my product is luxurious as well so what about, yes, I'm sure that maybe right now this is, we are coming closer to real understanding of luxury. Okay, so in this case, yes, there's some kind of watches by Rolex, okay, and also uh, the watch by Chanel, okay, and also there's a kind of uh, toilet, okay, even, but this is a kind of golden, uh, so that's why this is a kind of way of, uh, kind of real luxury product, okay, in, in some kind of countries, uh, people are using uh, ultra, uh, rich people are using this kind of gold uh, toilets and also probably you'll be able to see the other uh, the bags or uh, also perfumes might be considered kind of luxury as well okay what else yes i'm sure that all of us would be able to consider these as a kind of uh, examples of the uh, luxury products okay sports car and it might be computers okay and it might be expensive uh, products. And also we can talk about the eyeglasses, especially for uh, by specific brands. And also you see uh, the pen. I don't know whether you are able to see. Uh, so this is kind of pen, but usually maybe you will be surprised that this is this uh, pen is more than 1000 euro. Okay, so that's why uh, this is considered as kind of real luxury product. And shoes, yes, uh, also it might be considered as a kind of luxury as well. What else? Yes, I'm sure that the caviar, okay, so probably in most countries it's considered a kind of real luxury. And uh, so, so egg, eggs of uh, fishes, 
Okay, and also chocolates. I don't know whether you're able to read on the uh, package. It's called Godiva Luxury Chocolates. Okay, so this is a kind of brand claiming that we are kind of high quality and prestigious brand. And then uh, they are calling themselves as a kind of luxury chocolate. Okay, and also probably, I don't know whether you're able to see again on the bottle, uh, it's written luxury hair oil. Okay, so this is the same for the beauty product, and but they are considering themselves as a kind of luxury product. And and this this baby stroller also I took from the web, and then because this company was claiming in the category of luxury, and they were saying that luxury baby stroller, so that's why I got this example for you. Okay, so that means that probably you see even this one, maybe for most of us, this is not considered kind of a uh, luxurious product, but still, it might be seen as a kind of luxurious product for some countries, but if not, but still the company is trying to give it the image that uh, my product is a kind of luxurious and a kind of higher quality and more expensive. So that's why they try to attract the uh, high uh, income uh, category of people. So yes, you see, this is another example, uh, luxury vegetable crackers. You see, just simple crackers in the supermarket, but even they call themselves as a kind of luxury product, okay? And also the uh, tea leaves, okay? So probably in China, I think, uh, so this is kind of uh, also in gift set, and they are considering themselves as a kind of luxury product as well. And what else? I don't know whether in the last picture, if you look at the last picture, uh, what is the main product here? They are, calling, they are calling themselves as a kind of luxury tiles, luxury flooring, okay? That means that this is the, uh, floor uh, tiles claim to be luxurious. Okay, so that's why in every category, in all types of businesses, they have the claims to be luxurious. Okay, so you see, this is another example. Uh, whether I know uh, whether you know or not, but uh, Deluxe is a kind of brand uh, sold by Lidl. Lidl is the uh, discount uh, retailer in Europe. Okay, and Deluxe is their own brand. So that means that uh, all the products in this deluxe brand, so they are kind of higher price, okay? But people would like to buy, uh, although they have a similar product in different brands, but still they prefer this one because they think that higher quality and also because of the uh, higher price as well, okay? So this is a kind of, uh, this is kind of a beauty product again, deluxe oil care color, okay? So that's why, and Nescafe, Nescafe Deluxe, instant coffee, but they are claiming that uh, this product is kind of deluxe, okay? And even you see mixed nuts, so probably deluxe salted uh, mixed nuts. So you see all are the same examples, but in different industries, then in this case, uh, you'll be able to more uh, understanding of the uh, topic. So if you just look at, uh, if you just try to understand which products are luxuries in your own understanding, okay, I'm, I'm sure that some people will give a kind of different product categories and ranging from automobiles to yachts, to jewelry, fashion, house furnishing, everything will be different, okay, depending on the person, okay? So in this case, what we, what we understand from here, probably we'll be able to see that uh, there's a kind of, in all consumers, there's a kind of different understanding because uh, there is some products are kind of accessible luxury and some of them are kind of inaccessible luxury, okay? So, however, uh, people do not know this distinction between these different products, okay? So, that's why what we say is probably is uh, there are some kind of different types of uh, luxury categories, okay? Inaccessible, intermediate, accessible, okay? So, that's why probably depending on the, the relativity of luxury and depending on the uh, price, depending on the quality, all this combined, and then we can make our own decision what type of... Uh, product this is because I'm kind of, uh, I'm sure that, uh, for example, uh, Zuckerberg, okay, in USA, so probably for him to have a kind of yacht is not a kind of luxury, okay, this is a kind of, this is, might be kind of not that big uh, deal for him, okay, he can buy, okay, so that's why this is not a real luxury for him. However, for some of the people, this is totally inaccessible luxury. Okay, 
And some people, for like Zuckerberg, it might be accessible luxury might be as well. Okay, so in this case, everyone will have a kind of different understanding. So probably now, if you just from here, what we can uh, come up, summarize, we'll be able to say that the main uh, characteristics for luxury products are first is price, rarity, and aesthetics. Okay, and also some people say that quality is also important, and so, some people also automatically say that when something is expensive, pricey, then yes, of course, it should be a kind of automatically uh, expectation about the quality as well. Okay, so, and also, also we think about the necessity as well. I don't know, uh, maybe for some of you, especially in some countries, uh, smartphones is, might be real luxury. Okay, in terms of person power. Okay, so for example, for some people, uh, some people claim that, okay, this is not luxury, this is necessity, that's why I bought this one. Okay, but if I, in this case, I can ask you that, okay, but uh, normally there are some kind of uh, iPhone products, which is $300 or $400, why you buy the latest model, which is more than uh, $1,000, Okay, but some people say that, oh, but this is necessity, this is not luxury. No, this is, uh, it might be for some people, it might be say that, no, this is luxury because necessity means that at least the $300 might be the one uh, enough for your own needs as well. Okay, so that means that as you see, everyone has a kind of different answer for the same things. Okay, so, so that's why uh, we came up with the, uh, the sixth uh, relativity concept, which might be about technology. Okay, relativity, because uh, whenever we add some kind of technological uh, uh, gadgets in the device, then probably it increases the chance of being considered kind of luxury products as well. So, of course, uh, the emotions we said that important because what we said is people always try to praise their own products and always people try to justify their own luxury purchase, okay? So whenever uh, they said, okay, uh, this is not luxury, this is needed, or this, is, uh, this, is, this was not that expensive, or, it, it, or of course, some people are kind of happy of saying that, yes, this is luxury, but I deserve it, I'm worth it. Okay, these kind of things, uh, everyone will have kind of different justifications. Okay, so, but for sure, all kinds of luxury items give rise to positive ones. Okay, so that's why this is very important for the uh, companies. Okay, so yes, this is the one that I had already explained. So that means that there is a kind of, if you look at the different levels of luxuries, you'll be able to see that this is kind of inaccessible luxury, accessible luxury, necessity, or it might be intermediate luxury and also accessible luxury. Uh, you see even the definition will be different depending on how you look at this one. Okay, and uh, some low segment cars might be necessity for some of you, but for some of you might be a kind of intermediate Okay, or might be about accessible, might be, or even some people might be a kind of inaccessible as well. Okay, so what about luxury market? If you just look at the luxury market, maybe this is the one that maybe you would like to hear about. Okay, so in this case, yes, I'm sure that you are all familiar, or you might be mostly familiar with the logos of the uh, luxury brands. Okay, so in this case, what we know is uh, luxury market is totally different than the other industries. Okay, even uh, I can give you one example. Uh, one, one, uh, one person asked the owner of the company Rolex, okay, and then he said that, okay, how is the watch business? Okay, how is the watch business going on? And the owner of the Rolex said that, uh, I will know because I'm in luxury business. Okay, so that means that luxury business is different than the other industry. So that means that Rolex owner considers he is kind of not a kind of watch industry, he considers himself as a kind of luxury business area. Okay, so that's why what we can do is probably, uh, of course, uh, we will be able to come up with different explanation here as well, because uh, luxury brands, these well-known luxury brands are for only for some people, or we might also say that, you no, know, because the companies also try to expand to more, okay? And they try to come up with some kind of products with more accessible products, Okay, for some people, okay, for middle income people. Okay, so that's why uh, also we might say that some products are kind of considered kind of inaccessible, but for some of them might be considered kind of accessible or intermediate luxury as well. Okay, so probably from these brands, you'll be able to see that Ralph Lauren, 
maybe it's not going to be a luxury brand for you. Okay, for some countries, it's not considered a kind of luxury. And uh, you see Lexus, yes, and Rolex, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Porsche. Okay, so Porsche might be not considered a kind of luxury brand. Uh, even, you know, uh, Louis Vuitton, this is the well respected second brand, maybe after Gucci, okay, in most of the uh, surveys. So, probably even if we when the question was asked to real Chinese rich people, but they are real rich people, okay? And then the people asked, uh, okay, what do you think about Louis Vuitton? Okay? And they said, I never buy it. Why? Because this is the back of the secretaries, they said. Okay, so that means that why? I mean, uh, I'm not trying to uh, discriminate the uh, secretaries, but the, this is what the people are saying. So the real rich Chinese people are thinking that Louis Vuitton is not the brand for real rich people. Why? Because the other people have the same thing as well. They don't want to have the same brand by the others. Okay? So, war. so that's why what they would like to have, they would like to have a kind of exclusivity. They would like to have some brands which is not used or worn by others. Okay? So that's why uh, the, the levels are changing. So that's why the brands are changing as well. Okay, so yes, in this case, what we can see it is if you just look at the luxury segments, there are some kind of different nine different segments in luxury industry. Okay, the first one is luxury cars, personal luxury goods, luxury hospitality, okay, and uh, fine uh, wines and spirits, and gourmet food and fine dining, and high end furniture and housewares. Fine, yacht, fine art and yachts and luxury cruises. Okay, so you see these are the nine segments are the main comprising the total uh, industry of luxury. Okay, so if you just go to uh, in 2019, how the worldwide luxury market was. Okay, so in this case, I can say that is uh, the worldwide luxury market was uh, grew 4% uh, in 2019 an estimated 1.3 trillion euro, okay, globally. So, and then probably uh, with positive performance across most segments, okay, so in all segments, among these nine segments, most of them performed a kind of positive, except the fine arts. So probably if you look at this uh, figure, you'll be able to see that is a uh, fine art, you will see kind of all the numbers are a kind of plus, but only the minus will be seen in the uh, uh, 18% in the red circle. So probably this is about fine art. So that means that paintings or this kind of uh, antique things, okay? So probably these are uh, why there was a kind of uh, minus numbers there, because as, except, uh, especially this is because of the scarcity of the uh, supply. So there was no enough uh, items to be sold so that's why the uh, luxury market was kind of in minus uh, growth there, okay? So however, if you look at the uh, personal luxury goods, okay, 281 billion euro, okay? And the biggest part is luxury cars, 550 billion euro, okay? And luxury hospitality, 206 billion euro, and fine wines and sippets, 76 billion uh, euro and gourmet food 53 billion and high-end furniture uh, 42 billion euro okay so from here what you are able to see from this figure probably you'll be able to see that is yes uh, luxury hospitality plus luxury cruises plus uh, gourmet food fine dining okay and luxury uh, and also private uh, yachts. So these all will be combined with a uh, kind of related with, with the uh, experiences. Okay, mostly these are related with the, uh, instead of materialism, without, regardless of owning, but mostly people, uh, hospitality. You are not able to buy the item, but just you get the service. Okay, so same thing is for gourmet food. Okay, and same for, for uh, luxury cruises. So these are all in combination of the experiences. So that means that people are more inclined to have these luxury services. 
Okay, so probably if you see, uh, probably uh, uh, wellness, wellness uh, proves to be a kind of paramount uh, experiential experience for most of uh, most of the uh, consumers. Okay, and uh, what also we can say is in this high-end furniture housewares, if you just look at uh, what kind of uh, products we might be uh, listed there. Okay, so probably we, we will see that is uh, kind of uh, expensive furniture might be considered, and also it might be about the uh, lightning uh, products. Okay, so these might be considered the kind of uh, housewares. Okay, and also this is the only thing that the uh, online uh, shopping outpaces the performance of the uh, off offline shops as well. Okay, so otherwise mostly the uh, luxury segments. Uh, dominated by the offline, but only the uh, housewares. Okay, so if you just about if you just go to uh, Europe, if you just combine the different continents, then we will be able to see that uh, Europe has the highest performance in 2019. Okay, so probably you will be able to see that uh, all the continents. So the red is in Europe, America is in black, uh, gray is Asia, excluding Japan. Okay, and the other uh, lighter Japan, uh, uh, lighter gray is Japan, and others are the rest of the world. So probably we will see that in in total in uh, 19, uh, 2019, uh, in total 281 billion euro for the personal luxury goods. Okay, so from here you'll be able to see that uh, the the Europe is a kind of main one, 31 percent. However, if you combine the uh, Japan and the other Asia, then the 35 is kind of uh, is the leading one. Okay, so America uh, is a kind of modest uh, growth, uh, but still I said that uh, the first is the uh, Asia, in combining with Japan and other Asian countries, and the second one is Europe, and the third one is Europe. Uh, sorry, the third is about Americas. Okay, so now if you go to uh, probably from here, you'll be able to see that the Yes, uh, whether offline or online. Okay, so according to research in 2019, it shows that the retail channel grew 11% in 2019. Okay, however, most of the growth is coming from the store and even same store, so, uh, same store uh, sales. Okay, what is, uh, what is the importance of this one? So it means that luxury uh, consumers are preparing to shop from the same products, uh, same uh, retailers. Okay, from the same shops. So that's why they, this is the importance of the uh, creating kind of relation with the customers, especially in the luxury industry. Okay, so what about the online? Of course, still the online in the, uh, and also off price, so discounted stores and also airport channels continue to outperform. Okay, that means that they're also increasing their own importance. Okay, so that's why uh, online continue to gain share and now accounts 11 uh, 12 percent of the market so that means that now 12 percent comes from the online sales okay and also thanks to asia because asia is the number one uh, among the other continents so uh, asia is the one the first about the online luxury uh, shoppers okay in terms of numbers of online shoppers yes if you just look at this uh, share of global personal luxury goods market in 2019 you'll be able to see that is uh, yes uh, probably from here you'll see that the number one is 34 percent about the accessories okay and the second one is about the apparel and the third one is hard luxury what is hard luxury hard luxury is about jewelry okay and the third uh, the, the last one is beauty okay beauty is uh, almost three uh, percent uh, but a fourth uh, category uh, ranking okay so what about if you just look at the luxury customers uh, again according to euro monitor uh, it says that right now we have a kind of 390 million customers and probably it will be increased to 450 soon okay and most of them also uh, because of the increase of the middle class segment in Asia. Okay, so that's why also this is importance of the millennial customers. Okay, millennials is a kind of generation Y. Okay, uh, I'm sure that, uh, most of you know about the generation Y, but the, these are people who were born between 1980 to 1995. 
Okay, so that means that this group of people has been increasing their uh, purchases from luxury industry. Okay, and in 2019, the total consumption was 35% is coming from this group. And what about if you just look at the younger generation, which is Z generation. So these are the new members of the new frontiers of the tomorrow's uh, luxury market, uh, because they'll be coming at the good customers, especially in, uh, in uh, by 2035. Okay, so that means that uh, it will be very important, especially in Asian luxury market. Okay. So what about now? Uh, if you just uh, to be able to summarize the uh, issues, also I'm sure that most of us are curious about the, how the impact of the COVID-19 on the industry. Okay, now I will try to give some kind of uh, views about this ones because uh, this is a kind of still this process is going on. So that's why we are not sure about the, how it's going to be uh, impacting negatively the uh, industry. However, probably the assumptions are 90. 68% uh, of luxury goods will be the kind of experience that can kind of immediate drop, okay? And also the uh, effect will be long-term. And also uh, the main reason, probably all of you agree, uh, because of the hotels, restaurants, and airport and airline industry was closed, shut down. Okay, so that's why somehow it was the main industry. It was the main industry in the luxury. So that's why it was negatively, very negatively impacted. And however, it's a kind of giving promise uh, future for the future because all people have been stuck at home, right? So that means that there was no chance to go abroad. There was no chance to go restaurants. Uh, there was no chance for the people to go to hotels and stay. So that's why people are right now, as soon as things will be normalized, then the people will look forward to having these kind of experiences again. So that's why probably we are assuming that the numbers will be jump to kind of better numbers than the 2019. Okay. So probably uh, if you just look at the, uh, uh, if you just look at the luxury cars, luxury cars and uh, alcoholic drinks industry will not bet that much uh, uh, because still we are hoping that uh, we are thinking that the, uh, the negative uh, numbers will be going on. Okay, especially it will be long term, it will still continue. Okay, and then, however, personal luxury industry will assume recover from this COVID 19 as a kind of faster than the others. Okay, because the Chinese millennials and also uh, Z generation people and also the people who would like to shop online will try to compensate this loss and they will try to do their best. Okay. And there is a kind of, even there is a kind of uh, concept uh, because of the people right now stuck at home for a long time. And there is a kind of revenge shopping uh, concept soon to be coming because uh, people so far stayed at home. So they didn't spend their money. So that's why, uh, especially the rich people, so, or uh, the high income, higher mid middle income people. So they stayed at home, they didn't spend money. So that's why as soon as the, everything will be back and then they will spend more than the usual what they used to say. Okay, they spend. So what about if you just look at the Asia Pacific region, you'll be able to see that China was the first country hit by the pandemic. And however, it's the first country also to be recovered as well. Okay, so and then also, however, still the China uh, with severe economic damage. Okay, so that's why it will take time uh, for them to recover as well. Okay, and also the biggest economic contractions happen in Japan, Hong Kong, and Singapore, because especially Hong Kong, Hong Kong, because you remember, I don't know uh, whether you remember, uh, before COVID-19, there were some kind of uh, having some problems. Uh, okay, uh, so that means that in, especially in Hong Kong, there was a kind of some protests. Okay, so that's why uh, because of this protest, uh, the luxury industry was hit. So people did not go and they didn't shop and especially the uh, tourists, they didn't go to uh, Hong Kong, especially their main uh, tourists are coming from uh, mainland China. So that's why they stopped uh, going to Hong Kong uh, because of this protest. So that's why this, uh, in 2019, Hong Kong was the kind of good year uh, for luxury industry. Okay, so what about if you look at the North America, probably if in North America, US economy because of COVID-19, uh, first time deepest recession after uh, Great Depression time. Okay. 
So also in this case, it will be not be easy for USA to recover. And especially in luxury industry, the second biggest loss happens in USA. Okay, so that's why especially the reason is because the uh, international twist uh, to USA has been dramatically stopped. So that's why also this is another disadvantage for the people. And also Americans did not go out to other countries. Also, that's why all travelers shop, uh, stop shopping. Okay, so what about Canada? Canada also situation is not very different from the others. Okay, because Canada is will also uh, probably will uh, see the lowest uh, GDP in his own history. Okay, so that's why uh, the situation is not uh, brilliant for the uh, luxury industry in Canada as well. What about if you just look at the Latin America, Latin American countries? Probably, probably you all are able to. Uh, follow the news, uh, probably especially Brazil uh, was hit by the uh, pandemic uh, severely. And also, also the, in 2019, the economic conditions were not that good in uh, Brazil, Argentina, and uh, Mexico. Okay, so that's why uh, the uh, luxury industry is also related with this economic crisis as well. And that's why uh, the, still in 2020 or in 2021, the uh, luxury goods industry and also especially hospitality for Brazil will uh, not that gonna be easy to recover. Okay, what about if Western Europe? So Western Europe is important for for luxury industry. Why? Because Europe is the uh, home to the world's biggest luxury goods conglomerates, right? So most of the luxury goods companies, biggest ones, are coming from Italy or France. Okay, so that's why it's important for for us to know uh, Euro, Europe, and then, however, uh, Eurozone also negatively affected by the COVID-19 because of Italy, France, and Spain, you see, uh, in, in, uh, these are the countries first hit in Europe, okay? And also that's why the economy in Italy expected to be uh, contract by 9%, minus nine, okay? And also in Spain by minus eight, and in France and in UK, it's expected to be minus seven. And also in Germany, it's expected to be in uh, minus 6% as well. Also in 2019, uh, the numbers were not that good uh, for uh, uh, European countries because in 2019, Germany was giving some kind of signals for uh, slowing down of the economy, the recession. Okay, that's why people stopped buying the luxury products. And also in France, uh, you know, because of this, this uh, movement in 2019, uh, also France had a kind of uh, difficulty of this Yellow West uh, movements, okay, protests, and, and also in UK because of the Brexit issue, so they had a kind of lower sales. Okay, so in this case, what we can say is probably if you just look at the possible growth scenario for personal luxury goods in retail, cha retail channel in 2020-20, probably will be able to see that is store based sales will be still minus and minus 80, 86%. Okay. So in 2020, it's not going to be that easy to shop from the retailers offline. Okay. However, people are trying to compensate their needs from online ways, online channels. Okay. So that's why e-commerce is expected to increase more than 600%. Okay. So that's why this is important. And also another chance for the luxury industry is about the mental well-being, okay? Because of this pandemic, so right now people would like to uh, relieve, okay? So that's why luxury hospitality industry or spa or some kind of some vitamins or uh, these uh, industries are trying to, trying to make their own ways to be profitable from this issue, okay? So what they do is probably for example, there are some kind of, uh, in some luxury uh, hotels or spas, they, what they start to do is they create kind of individual spas, okay? People don't want to spend time with other people because of the pandemic. That's why everyone will have their own cabins, okay? And same thing is for farms fitness, uh, luxury fitness studios, what they are offering is uh, they will give a kind of separate devices and equipment for each person, okay? So that's why they try to, and they are trying to make kind of different, uh, and also at home, uh, the 
uh, the the uh, the coach will be entrepreneur will be coming to supervise at home. So these are the new trends uh, for in 2020 to recover, especially for the uh, mental well-being. Okay, thank you so much for today. And this is the end of my uh, presentation today. So what we can do is first we can, uh, if you agree, uh, we can get some kind of uh, questions and. First, I need to stop sharing. And then also I can look at the uh, chat box and I try to get the questions one by one. And Okay, there's some kind of Indonesian uh, guests from us. Okay, they are saying that we are from uh, Venus International. And, uh, and then also, okay, good afternoon. Let's try to find out. Okay. Good morning for some people. Yes, good morning and good afternoon for some people. Okay, so uh, from Kazakhstan also we have some kind of guests. And uh, okay, right now uh, I'm not able to see any kind of uh, question. So because I'm just have some kind of greetings there. Okay, so that means that if you have any kind of questions, I would like to uh, answer your questions. Okay, so okay, there is one senior from Turkey. Uh, okay, I wonder. I wonder how does an item becomes luxurious? Okay, so that means that uh, of course, uh, to creating uh, creating one uh, one product as a kind of luxury, you need to combine. Uh, first, you need to be able to target the segment. Okay, and also depending on your product and your target consumers, and then in this case, you need to add these six characteristics. Okay, and then to be able to. Uh, use these six characteristics in reflection your own uh, product and in this case you'll be able to increase the image of the product and this is a way for you to create a kind of luxury understanding for your own product good uh, yes this is totally all okay so thank you for your question <coughs> And do we have any other questions? Okay, let's check the also, yes, luxury goods can be divided into different segments for each consumer. I would like to know how luxurious market can make a com comeback from this COVID like a recovery. Okay, so I think uh, uh, probably uh, this is what we had already talked in the uh, uh, presentation. So uh, of course in each uh, industry, in each segmentation, in each segment, because we talked about nine different segments, so that means that uh, everyone, every all of the segments were negatively affected. Okay, so the first one is to be recovered is personal luxury uh, products are recovering. Okay, because of the millennials and young generation, Z generation, and also we said that also the hospitality, hospitality and uh, mental well-being things. If you add your points in your own products, then in, this is a way for you to recover from the uh, loss of your sales because of the pandemic. This is a way, okay? And of course, all other countries, all other uh, segments will find a way how to recover from this uh, COVID-19 sales. But, but of course, this is not that easy, especially in terms of economic conditions. Okay, because uh, I don't know, uh, many of countries were negatively affected by these. Okay, so that's why, uh, and also, also we know that some people, uh, this is the first time in their life it happened. Okay, so everything stopped and people lost their sales, even the shops were closed. Okay, so that's why uh, some, I'm, I'm sure that especially Europeans would like to be kind of cautious to start spending again, because they would like to see the future okay so this is what i can say is one another question saying that do you consider apple a luxury brand because this is not long lasting due to past technical advance yes as you see that this is a kind of totally related kind of good example for the relativity because uh, for some people 
in terms of economic, in terms of technological things, it might be about the uh, rarity, okay, scarcity. So it will be considered definitely a kind of uh, luxury, okay. But for some people, definitely not, because I'm sure that most of the people will think that this is the necessity. This is of the real, uh, this is life. This is what we need. Without this, we cannot survive. Okay, so that's why everyone will have a kind of different answer for this one. Okay, so uh, I wonder, the scarf industry in Indonesia is labeled as luxuries uh, if they market in the English language. However, there are many fake brands that claim to be luxuries. How do you comment? Yes, sure. Uh, this, is, uh, this is always uh, everything, all the companies, this is what I explained in the uh, presentation because all business are trying to get advantage of this one, right? So that means that they are claiming that we are luxuries. Okay, yes, it might be in scarf industry, might be in one country, might be considered a kind of uh, luxury. It might be about culture, and also it might be about, about the material. Okay, so uh, for example, in most of the countries, the scarf, especially in the uh, silk, it's still considered a kind of luxury material. And that's why the, we are willing to pay higher. Okay, however, uh, uh, especially also in other country, uh, in also another con uh, consideration is yes, if you market the products in English, yes, it increases the image because they people then in some countries they think that oh okay this is a Western product or this is coming from uh, or they are we are using some kind of English names there so that means that it's a kind of a kind of luxurious product okay so that's why these are all acceptable and and this is open to these kind of discussions because all countries have different types of consumers. Okay, that means that we, do, we should agree to address, approach this our own uh, target. Okay, so what about during these times, post pandemic, is it better to position ourselves as luxury uh, or non-luxury products? Oh, okay, so this is a kind of, of course, this is depending on what type of industry. Okay, so because I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that uh, especially in some uh, industries for hospitality or uh, for some kind of food, still people would like to have some kind of experience because we already said that so far people were stuck at home. So that's why they had no time and they would like to increase their experiences. Okay, that's why I'm sure that they will spend more and more for these kind of things. Okay, so that's why uh, for the example of the uh, hospitality industry or for the food dining, Okay, and then in this case, the uh, luxury is still good strategy. Okay, so what about, uh, I work in the hospitality, I work in the hospitality industry, however, how can we market to bring back guests? Okay, what step should we take if you would like to, to suggest? So in my opinion, uh, this is a good question, and uh, in the hospitality industry, uh, depending on where you are located, and also depending on how uh, or who your main target is, your customers are, okay? So if they are from local uh, or if they're international uh, guests, so in this case, you need to make kind of different strategies. So for example, of course, in the local ones, is might be easier because you need to persuade the people, uh, you try to advise how, what kind of precautions you take, okay? And uh, probably, and then you'll be able to get some kind of some uh, endorsement about the uh, precautions taken in the hospitality industry. And then uh, also you need to give some kind of messages saying that, okay, this is time for you to come back and enjoy the time because uh, you have been at home for the last two months or three months or four months, okay? So these are the good strategies you might conduct, okay? However, if we are talking about international guests, of course, this is first related with the uh, mutual agreements between the countries, okay? Because in some countries uh, still, this is problematic because the countries do not allow their own citizens to go to these countries. Might be, or they, if they said, okay, you, you are free to go, but we do not take the risk, or we will not send you any kind of flight back to bring you back to home, or these kind of things. So that's why first you need to do is you need to proceed with country, uh, the other or, uh, official uh, part. And then in this case, you need to be able to make the, some kind of with the uh, travel agents. Maybe you need to keep it, uh, it might be, in my opinion, uh, some hotels are inviting some editors of some newspapers or uh, some well-known people, okay? That's why they try to say, okay, you see, oh, uh, this country is 
even much better than mine because this is there is no risk right now okay and then this news will be uh, given to the uh, the uh, local people there in Germany or in other European countries, for example. Okay, then this is a kind of way for you to get uh, proceeded. Okay, so, and then I know you mentioned price is considered as one of the main attributes when defining luxury, but would you say ethical and high quality product, uh, uh, would you say an ethical and high quality product with affordable price can also be categorized as luxury products? Yes, sure, it might be. So this is totally related with your own strategy. So you can combine uh, you can just emphasize your quality and you can talk about the your ethical understandings or maybe like uh, pricing, uh, fair pricing. And then you can say that still we are luxurious and then you can try to, or we also, we try to allow you to reach to all customers. That's why we are uh, considered ourselves in the accessible luxury. Okay. So we do not only target the rich people, but everyone can buy our own product. Okay, but of course, you need to still think about what your main products, uh, uh, main uh, customers, because because we, I, what I said is, especially to for rich, uh, the inaccessible group, high income people don't like to be sharing the same products with the other people. Okay, that's why if your target is these people, then it's better not to reach to accessible people with the same product. So of course you can create a kind of second uh, brand and then, uh, and then you can approach them a kind of different way. Okay, but uh, otherwise if your product is a kind of related with the kind of accessible uh, category, then of course this is a good way because in this case you try to increase the number of sales. Okay, there are more people there. Okay, so what about uh, greeting? Uh, I'd like to ask, when do you think people usually buy luxury stuffs and what kind of marketing strategies does companies do besides the expensive products? Thank you. Okay, so uh, this is totally, this is all we are human. So it means that we are all consumers. So it means that uh, this is related with the emotions and moods, okay? So we need to find a way how to able to combine the advertisement and your product necessity. Okay, because every product is a kind of necessity for some people, depending on how you are and where you are. Okay, so that's why probably you need to be able to combine the necessity concept and uh, uh, pamper the moods and emotions. Okay, so that's why you need to combine them all to be able to uh, advertise the expensive products because everyone uh, will have a find solution how to buy the expensive products okay that means we, of course except except the inaccessible luxury okay but otherwise uh, intermediate luxury or accessible luxury either it might be expensive or not but still there are ways how to buy it okay so it means that either you, you can uh, you can give a kind of some uh, financial uh, planning uh, for the customers might be okay or you might try to kind of uh, uh, different type of uh, stra strategies for the branding Okay, and to be able to reach to all type of customers might be, and also different types of uh, strategies of advertising might be possible as well, because you need to be able to approach the emotions. Okay, if you are able to, in the same way of the emotions of the people, then of course they will buy it, because everyone will say that I worth it. Okay, I need this one, or also uh, I need to, I need to be pampered as well. Okay, so it means that I'm in. A desperate mood today and also why also I need to be pampered and then I would like to buy this one because purchasing or selling luxury products is a kind of selling the dreams okay because all consumers when they buy the luxury products they become happy okay that's why we need to find a find a kind of strategies in our own advertisements to be able to approach them because we will just uh, fulfill our their dreams okay Thank you. So what about, uh, okay, this is from Telkom University in Indonesia. Thank you. And uh, I just uh, want to start the luxury product brand in this pandemic and how to distribute our product or brand. Okay, so that means that this, uh, to be able to, of course, this is also related to the, uh, where you are and where you are planning to sell. Okay, so that means that this is related with Indonesia. So depending on uh, how the uh, online shopping is common there, or what are the kind of uh, the kind of obstacles in front of online shopping or not? 
Okay, according to this one, I advise you to start with the online, of course, because right now, and also you need to combine uh, not only uh, online and uh, distribution, but also you need to create a way how to increase the safety of the products because everyone also people are scared of touching the packages coming from the uh, companies because uh, because of the uh, virus. So that's why you need to find a way uh, to uh, proceed or to get uh, liked by the consumers because you need to give a kind of maybe extra precautions and then this company will be able to say, oh, great idea. And then, uh, yes, there will be no risk. And then even they give a kind of different uh, set and everything will be clean and hygiene. Okay, so these kind of things you need to think about because everyone is in the same worries. Okay, that means that we need to be able to uh, satisfy their uh, worries. Okay, so what about uh, what about South Korea market divided into two? Uh, is there any scare of launching in Korea due to North Korea? Is there any, um, okay, so this is a kind of good question as well. Okay, so uh, because uh, yes, uh, this is always there is risk. Okay, uh, because uh, yes, especially two years or three years ago, we had this uh, risk in uh, South Korea because everyone was uh, worried about okay whether there will be war or not. Okay, and then also now uh, in the last uh, month also it's restarted. Okay, but of course everything might be kind of uh, might happen. Okay, however, still it's not that uh, that's not kind of a big problem in my opinion because still the people, uh, we need to think about the uh, confidence of the people, okay? So uh, probably in this case, people, they do not think that there is that much risk because especially in North, uh, South Korea, people have been so get used to work, uh, leave these kind of uh, threats from North Korea, okay? So if you just ask the same question to all uh, South Koreans, they never uh, think about there is a kind of high risk uh, because of the war, okay, because they are always have had this issue, okay, that's why this is not a big deal. However, the main thing is right now in, uh, because of this pandemic, uh, the economy was also damaged and the people's person power also depend on the, uh, what type of business you are in. Also, you reduce your person power as well. So that's why depending on what type of luxury uh, product you would like to sell, uh, you need to think about not maybe the, War, but the main priority should be about the uh, the uh, pandemic, post-pandemic uh, economic conditions. Okay, good. So, uh, can we generalize the luxury itself for the sake of marketing? Yes. Uh, so this is uh, yes, we can, we can, we can. Uh, for the sake of marketing, we can uh, generalize the product, uh, luxury product. However, what we need to say is also we need to be sure what type of product. We are talking about okay that means that this is uh, for some products this is not going to be that easy to generalize because there will be specific approaches for all types of products differently okay so that's why we think about the product first and also our target uh, audience okay how can i rebrand my brand from being a fast fashion fashion economical brand to a luxury brand can you give me several such a oh okay so this is a kind of uh, of course yes uh, to be able to, I don't know uh, what type of uh, uh, fashion product it is, but of course, uh, probably uh, what you need to do is you need to come up with the new image. Okay, you need a new positioning for the brand. Okay, so and positioning is not only about the uh, product itself, not about the increasing the prices, or not a, even the store. Even the store uh, decoration should be changed okay and also it should be looked like kind of uh, sparkling and kind of shining okay and even uh, also the advertisement strategy should be according to different okay that means that also depending on where you are located because if the if the, uh, if the store is located in not a kind of high part elite part of the city okay also this is not a good strategy to be in kind of because most of your targets will be on that part of the city so that's why it's better for you to move in this area as well okay and also image is important positioning is important advertisements are important okay and uh, however also the quality of the products should be increased as well okay you cannot come up with the same type of products without increasing the quality just increasing the price this is not going to be helpful as well so that's why you need to be able to come up with the 
real different. Okay, so that's why uh, there are things that I can say, and also, of course, there might be some, uh, there are some kind of uh, books written by some kind of professors, how to create kind of luxury brands, how to be sell more efficiently. So these kind of books there are. So maybe it might be helpful for you to get some kind of uh, understanding. Yes, uh, and is it always true that luxury is expensive? Are genuine brands that will give you value? Okay, the, uh, yeah, this is also uh, related to what we have told. Okay, so that means that even uh, depending on the situation, even one simple bottle of water, which is only one dollar less than one dollar, might be a kind of luxury as well. Or uh, you need to be able to find out the situations and you need to be able to find the right moment for the people. Okay, so that's why you need to come create a kind of new value for the product, uh, for the for the products uh, to the people. Okay, so if you are able to create a kind of good value, and also if you are able to create a kind of higher image, and also if you adjust a better quality, then I'm sure that it's not that difficult uh, to create kind of uh, uh, luxury brand. Okay, and uh, genuine brands, of course, uh, they give a kind of value better because they have a kind of uh, brand image, well known, and also advertising support always. Okay, so this is important things, of course, and but still, not all products have to be expensive to be expen uh, for the to be luxury. Okay, so thank you so much. And uh, so what we what we can do is, I think this is the end of the uh, questions today. Okay, so I hope uh, you enjoyed, and yes, keep in touch. Thank you.